Hello, my name is Sean Dizdizou. In this video tutorial, we are going to take a step further from the previous video tutorial, where basically we have the ability, the opportunity to create uh, a number of different levels. So we create the main menu, we created the new win, the game over, the level one, and then level two forms. So now we are going to basically apply some actions and some events to basically apply the functionality. And then we're going to save this as a template. So to do so, to get started, we are going to double click on the ES options. So event sheet options. And we are going to add a new event. This event will be the main button. So we're going to double click on the main button. And we're going to double click on unclicked. So when somebody clicks on the main menu, we want something to happen. So what we want to happen is we're going to apply this on the action. So add action. It's going to be system action. And then it's going to be go to layout. So click next. And then select the layout from here. So you can select. I want to go to the main menu. So I'm going to select FRM main menu and click done. The next event we're going to add, it's going to be the PTN start game. So I'm going to select the game, the, this button, click next. I'm going to scroll down. Sorry, I'm going to select the unclicked and then click next. And the action will be another system action. And I'm going to scroll down, select go to layout. And from here, I'm going to select level one. So when somebody clicks on the start game to basically go to the level one, click done. So now I've got these two uh, buttons sorted. I need to go now to the event seat uh, level for levels. So I'm going to double click this. And the first event I'm going to add, it's going to be the player. So I'm going to double click on my, on my player. And then I'm going to scroll down and select on collision with another object. So I'm going to click next. And the object I'm going to collide with is the enemy. So I'm going to click OK and done. So when my player collides with the enemy, I want something to happen. What I want to happen is this. I want to, first of all, I want to, my player to be destroyed. So I'm going to select, select my player, scroll down, and then select the term destroy. And then I would like to add another action. It's going to basically, it's going to be a system action. And it's going to take the user to the go to layout. It's going to take the user to give the game over form. Click done. Then I'm going to add another event. So the event will be the player again. So on collision with another object. So when the player collides this time with the door you win, I want something to happen. Done. What I want to happen is I want the system action to take place and to navigate the player to a layout. And the layout will be you win and click done. So then I'm going to add another event. I'm going to double click on the player again. I'm going to select on collision with another object. But this time I'm going to select go to level two. Click OK. And then click done. Finally, I'm going to add the action system action. Go to layout and I'm going to navigate the player to go to the level two. So when the player collides with the level 2 door, then it's going to take them to level 2. Click Done. The last thing I need to do now is double click on the main menu and press play to test to see if I've done everything right. Let's select option, allow to pop up, <coughs> excuse me. Let's close this, let's try again. Please wait. Okay, so the main menu loads. I'm going to click start game. Okay, my game started. So if I collide with enemy, okay, it takes me to the game over. I'm going to select main menu. Then I'm going to start the game. Okay, let's make the character a bit smaller. So let's go to level one. Let's bring the character a bit smaller and break, basically bring him further down as well. Okay, so 
let's press play okay so all right so you can go through that so i'll go to level two and if i click that okay it takes me to the u wing then i can go to the main menu start the game and if i go to level two and to check if it sent me okay so it takes me to the game over main menu start game all right so these are the basics uh the basic structure and the basic uh functionality events and actions that you will put, be able to put in order to create uh, a game so this basic this basic functionality will be applied to every single game or 99 percent of the games that you will be able to create in the future because of that what we're going to do now we're going to go to file select project and then select save us and then i'm going to select cloud i'm going to drop down the list here i'm going to select onedrive and then once onedrive is open i'm going to select the appropriate folder it might ask you to log on so i'm gonna okay oops what happened there Okay, I'm going to click next. Uh, get back to the account, sorry. Okay, let's try again. Let's close out. One drive. Okay, let's try again. Okay, let's go there, 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 and there. I'm just going to save it there as template to the game. Click save. So in the future, <clears throat> before I start any project, what I can always do is go to File, select Project, select Open, select Cloud. Select my template, click open, yes. Then I can go to file, select project, select save us, select cloud, and basically change the name based on the name of my game. Uh, game 2, let's say. So you don't have to start again from scratch. So this is how you're creating a simple structure of a video game. And that's how you apply the simple functionality within the video game. If things within this video doesn't make sense, this is because you have not watched the previous version of the video. So this video that I've just produced now is a series of two videos. So this is the two of two videos. So you need to watch the first one, the one of two. I'm going to include this into the description of the YouTube video below so you, you will be able to actually navigate through this uh, to the first video uh, by clicking the link. Hope you've learned something new today. Hope you will use the skills in order to develop great video, great video games in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.